Brad. Uh, what? <laughs> Glamour. I was about to show you something. Uh, all right, I got to show you what I'm looking at. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, Glamour magazine, but it has paper, and it's probably the equivalent of what I normally use. So, with the wind blowing, again, kind of hard to hang on to properly. What are you demoing today? Well, today I'm going to demo the short way to sharpen a long knife or a long blade, okay? It's about an eighth of an inch thick. It's about an inch wide. It's uh, tapered down from about half an inch down, and then uh, that's your uh, primary bevel, and your secondary bevel is out there. And actually, well, it's, you know what, that's, I think kind of bites your skin a little bit. I'm not real sure how it's going to, okay, we're going to go about eight inches out, all right, so we kind of get a relationship to where we're going to do it again here. Okay, I can kind of tease it along. All right, it's not too bad. It's not like right on through. So let's see. Um, all right, I'm at a loss. What did I do with uh, with the V-notch sharpener? <laughs> it's in your, <laughs> in your pocket? I don't think I picked it up. All right, well, back to the old place. Let's go look for it real quick. Right, we, we, we really don't rehearse this very well. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I did do put it in my pocket. All right. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. Psh, off here to a stump. Let's, uh, I need something to put it on. Okay, and um, I got to get where you guys can see you're going to have to kind of come up yeah, here I'm and shoot up. down on it like that. So anyway, the, the uh, short way to sharpen a long blade. So we set it in here like this. Don't have to have it straight up and down. You tilt it just a little bit, have it hanging out over the edge of the stump like that. And then we're just going to run it through. Now, we don't want to push too hard because it'll grab, stick, jump, jerk. Uh, it'll really make a mess. So, oop, boy, that vibration starts right off. All right, so let's do that. And I'm not going to try to get all the way to the end. I can sure see a lot of metal on the hilt of the knife. Yeah, that's, and see, this is why I would never, I cannot keep it from vibrating. And that's part of the reason I say don't use this on good knives. What parts, what starts part of the vibration? The actual natural grind of the uh, blade is 90 degrees to the blade. So there's little tiny vibration uh, marks to start with. All right, I'm gonna rip that a little bit. Oh my gosh. Well, it's gotta have to do with where it is on the blade because back here isn't so bad. All right, I'm just gonna get with this. I don't like the dang thing anyway, but let's see. If I can keep it from chattering. It's funny, it does not chatter out here. It's, got to, it's just something to do with where, okay? For some reason, it doesn't chatter much the last eight inches of the blade. So just like that. Oh boy, there it went. And that's exactly why I tell you not to use this on good blades. And I knew it would do that, so. Anyway, we're just going to see the short way to sharpen a long blade. And then just like this, right on out. Don't grab it. Woo! <laughs> I learned a long time ago, if, some, if, if one of my knives are falling, just get away from it. <laughs> when I first started doing this, I used to, it's natural instinct if you drop something to grab for it. And uh, you can't do that with knives, especially when they're sharp. All right, so let's see. I've broken my back twice, uh, so that's kind of bad. But one of the worst hurts I ever did to my back is I bent over, I had a pencil in my pocket, and when I bent over, the pencil fell, and I jerked hard, fast for it, and I pulled a muscle in my back, and actually that was 
that was really a painful situation for a couple of weeks. All right, let's see if that equals that bites sharp. Try it back here first. Oop, that's a whole lot better. Don't have to saw so much on that one. And let's try out here. And that's really not too bad, and it's actually pretty smooth. So that's kind of fun. That worked out fairly well. So let's see now what we can do here slicing an apple. Actually, that worked pretty darn good. We'll do it one more time. That worked pretty good. We'll see if the dog's going to eat the apples. <laughs> Just trying. There it goes. All right, let's uh <clears throat> let's have some fun. Am I going to hit the stump or am I going to hit the apple when I do this? If I hit that stump, it's really going to rattle my bones. All right, you guys have time to bet. You're in a group. You're watching my videos, Brad TV. Let's uh, let's start calling it Brad TV. Okay, you're watching Brad TV. You're betting amongst your friends there. Is he going to hit the apple or is he going to hit the stump? Because I'm really going to take a swing at that apple. I'm going to see if I can cut the apple off and leave part of it on the stump. Okay? Or do I just plain and simply smack the stump? That I just don't know yet. So let's see. And I just don't want to whack in your dog. Good boy. All right. Here we go. Well, I hit the apple. That's good. Took the top right off of it. All right. So let's do it again. I got to go faster. All right, I almost missed. Got to get my, got to get my swing down because this is going to be 600 yards. All right, here we go. <laughs> well, I made it shorter. <laughs> I'm aiming high. Uh, I got to aim a little lower. All right, ready? <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't know exactly why, but man, did it destroy that apple. Hmm? There you go. All right, we're gonna open up some salami. I'm just gonna take the end off of it. Again, I don't practice this, I don't try. I did find out one day when I was trying to just stab a knife in a tree it did not hit where i thought it was going to hit at all all right here we go <laughs> what? <laughs> what just oh, happened it's plastic <laughs> under the rope all right let's oh, get that Still, let's take a look at your product here before he does. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I, I did cut the end off of it. Nice. And uh, plastic, the wrap, the wrapper, and I don't know, inch and a half, cut it right off of there. All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you'd like some bark that tastes <laughs> like uh, salami. Um it's not what I would call good um, it's probably tolerable but I don't think I'd like it alrighty then let's look uh, the handle it, it must be more for looks there you go. Put it back together. It looks like that. No. So anyway, 
<laughs> that was kind of funny. It, it, it did work. I did cut it. It did break the handle. So you see it first right here on Brad TV, sharpensbest.com, the goofy things we do. You take care. Hope you enjoy the videos. If you like the videos, tell us so. Eh, if you don't like the videos, tell me too. <laughs> this is Brad, <laughs> the broken handle. You take care. Have a good day.